Well, hello and welcome to another video um, in my app series here. Um, so the other few apps that I have to go over are very, very small apps. Um, I can't dedicate a whole video to the last, there's like four apps, but they're all small. So I'm just going to shoot one video for the last four, simply because they are small. Uh, they are not very big. Um, so um, I already posted or... I uploaded a, ga a video about Gas Buddy yesterday. Um, I don't think it's actually live on my channel yet because YouTube is stupid. Um, but um, the this video, I think I just kind of want to briefly touch on uh, Pandora, Zello, Stride Tax, and Velociraptor. So um, let's just start with uh, Stride Tax. Stride Tax is um, exactly what it says it is. Um, it is a app to help with taxes and I say that because it is a mileage tracker um, and an expense tracker so um, there's already there's mileage IQ is out there and uh, QuickBooks is out there uh, I think that's what it's called QuickBooks uh, in, into it has a uh, mileage tracker too um, so um, stride will automatically track your miles but it will only do it when when you want it to do it um, and, and what I mean by that is um, it automatically detects um, when your vehicle is in motion and it'll send a notification on your phone asking if you're driving for work and you want to track the miles so um, so what do you see here on my screen these are all the mileages that I've tracked um, I I only track when I'm actually driving um, for uh, Uber and Lyft. I'm not tracking right now because I'm not driving. I'm not. I'm not on. I'm not online. I mean, I'm driving obviously, but I'm not online. Um, so I don't have to track if I'm not online. So that's a great thing about it. Mileage IQ and the Intuit one. I think it's called QuickBooks. Um, they they automatically log everything. Uh, Gas Buddy, uh, which is my previous video that also logs every trip so um, gas buddy will log miles even if I'm driving a different vehicle or like if I'm driving the company van uh, at work it tracks it because I'm moving um, stride doesn't do that stride will, will send me a message and say hey are you driving for work um, I also have it set up so that it only tracks um, when my phone is on a charger so it doesn't track um, and drain my battery when I'm not on the charger. So, um, and, I mean, if I start it when it's on the charger and I take it off the charger, it still tracks. But it, it won't start unless I'm on the charger. So, um, it's literally all it is. So, um, so, again, it'll automatically flag you when you start driving and it'll, it'll um, track. I mean, you can also add any expenses that you have. Um, I usually add, like, if I buy a bottle of water or I buy candy... Um, for my riders, um, I track that. I, I uh, track car washes and uh, when I have to use a vacuum to clean out my car, um, I log that because that's all tax write-offs. So, um, and you can send yourself an email PDF file um, that gives you a breakdown of your mileage for a, a given a given uh, time frame. So. Uh, this does work at tax time to submit mileage and expenses. Um, it's just a good way to, you know, the, o the only, and you can, you can link it to your checking account so that you can automatically, um, it can automatically track your expenses that way. If you're the type of person like I am who forgets to go in there and track it. I've been trying to do better, uh, but you can link it to your check account and then every time you spend money, you can go in there and tell it whether or not it was a personal or a business expense. So um, that that that's stride, and that's why I didn't really want to do one full video because four minutes in, we're done. So uh, we can go back later and track your miles also um, if you forget to do it at the time. Um, but um, who wants to go back after the fact to track miles? That's too difficult to remember. So, uh, but that's stride. Very, very quick, very, very easy. Um, let's talk about 
uh, Velociraptor. Okay, Velociraptor. You see that little uh, speedometer thing on the on the right side of my screen there. That's what Velociraptor does. It literally just adds a speed limit and a uh, and a speedometer to your screen so that you can see it easier. Um, it uses um, I've got it set up to use TomTom Tom Maps, so it's getting all its information from the TomTom Tom server, um, and uh, that's 99, 99 cents a month to use that service, um, subscription service, but um, StriteTax is free, I should have mentioned that when I talked about StriteTax. Velociraptor is free, uh, the optional charge of 99 cents a month. Um, you can also use... Uh, OpenStreetMap, which is free, 100% free, but it's based solely on user data. So, um, if you if you live in a small town like I do, and you want the speed limits to be to be accurate, you have to go in yourself, use an alternative app, upload it to the server, um, and then uh, whoever runs that app has to approve it. So, um, I used to do it that way. I actually spent one day. I think I spent like an entire day. Uh, putting in speed limits and it got real annoying real fast so um, I saw this TomTom Tom option and I selected that so I'm in my seven day free trial right now um, I'm gonna renew it I mean I'm, I'm gonna let it charge me because it's worth it for 99 cents a month to have updated speed limits and I don't have to go in and update myself so um, you, you can set it to it which apps you want it to appear on um, so I have it set obviously on Google Maps I also have it set on Lyft driver. I don't have it set on Uber driver. Um, and the reason for that is because um, I don't use the Uber navigation. I use Google Maps for the navigation on the Uber app. So um, it doesn't make sense for me to put it on the Uber driver app when I'm not going to use their navigation. So, um, but again, that is Velociraptor. Very quick and easy. Um, there's nothing really to it. Um, somebody moved the damn lawnmower and now it's in my freaking way. Um, we park in this freaking driveway, I guess. Um, so that is Velociraptor. Quick, easy to use, and uh, that's it. So um, that's Velociraptor. Um, and then the only two I have left is Pandora. Pandora is obviously uh, self explanatory. It's Pandora. Um, some people use Pandora. Some people prefer to use Spotify. Um, Pandora was used to be a part of the Uber driver app. I don't know why they took the button off. I liked it because may maybe it, maybe Uber driver was using too much data when it had the Pandora option on there. But I liked it because I would use, you know, obviously it's one less app I have to run. Uh, I have a Samsung Galaxy S8, and those things get hot when you run too much data. Um, when I had the Pandora running through the Uber driver app, it was one less data app I was using. I was using a lot of data, but if you got three data apps open at the same time, your phone gets too hot. So um, I don't know why they changed it, but uh, Pandora is free. There is a subscription service that you can pay for. I don't, obviously. Um, but... Uh, yeah, that's it. Zello. Zello is a communication app. So um, I will pull this up real quick. Um, Zello allows you to talk to other people. It doesn't have to be other drivers. It can be anybody. Um, it literally takes your your cell phone and it turns it into a CB radio. Okay. So I'm going to go online here real quick just to kind of show this. Um... I may not even connect because I'm on Wi-Fi, but it's a very weak Wi-Fi. Oh, it sure did. Okay. Um, so, this is what it looks like. And uh, I've got the sound off right now. Um, but if the sound was on, you would hear like a, like a noise that you would hear on the CB radio. And uh, I use it to talk to other drivers in Dubuque. Um, we used to use it a lot. We don't really use it anymore. Um, but you can talk to virtually anybody on the platform across the board. So I am on here, um, and my username is up at the top there. Uh, if you are watching this video and you use this app or would like to use this app, 
um, please feel free to add me. Um, no, no problems there. I will talk to anybody. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have or just interact with you. You know, that's cool. Um, so I don't, it, it transfers across, you know, it doesn't have to be United States. So, um, if you are, um, on the app or you want to be on the app and you want to add me as a friend, go right ahead. So, um, you guys have permission to add me. Um, we use it in my market to talk about traffic issues, to talk about, uh, where it's busy, where we're seeing things. Um, any problem passengers, uh, if we don't want to go on the, uh, the Facebook group, um, we do use Facebook group a lot cause there's a lot of people on it. There's not a lot of people on Zello. Um, but, um, yeah, so we, we just use it to communicate different issues in town, uh, whether it be traffic stops, accidents, um, whatever the case may be, um, pr pr problem passengers, et cetera, et cetera. So. Uh, again, go ahead and add me if you want. Um, but that's going to do it. Uh, that That's it for my app series, guys. Um, I'll probably have more videos. Um, again, I haven't decided if I'm going to drive this weekend in or not. Um, I'm going out of town, but I might drive. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm kind of thinking about it. Um, but we'll just kind of see what happens. Um, but in any regard, I might drive tonight. So I might, I might do a stream tonight. We'll see what happens. Um... But yeah, with that, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, I don't foresee having any more um, app series. I will do um, I will do a video on the new Uber app once I get that, uh, if, if I ever get it, I guess. Um, and uh, I want to share some thoughts um, on some of the things going on with Uber and Lyft right now with, with the new heat maps and the new surges, things like that. But I'll talk about that a different day. Um, it's, none of that's in my market yet anyway. So, um, yeah, that is, that's it. So, uh, like, subscribe, comment, share, um, the links to all these apps will be included down below, uh, for both Android and iOS. Um, all these apps are free. Uh, they're all great. I, I use them. Um, I don't use one more than the other. Uh, but, uh, if I get more friends on Zello, I'll use Zello more often than I do now. So, but again, feel free to add me. Um, but that's it. So uh, have a great day. Uber and Lyft on. Be safe out there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.